adaptinum today is history english course 2 group gt 18 topic of the lesson the runic monuments purpose of the lesson to know the periodization of history of english language the pre-written period of old english tasks to know periodization to translate runic inscription to understand the information on uh, from the runic monuments to retell the given text written in runic alphabet respect uh, the cultural heritage of all people all over the world teacher Jana Mikhailovna ancient Germanic tribes their time here they are the historical development of language is continuous in an interrupting process without sudden breaks and rapid transformations. The commonly accepted traditional classification uh, divide period of in history of English into three main periods. The famous English shooter Henry Sweet divides uh, the three main periods into uh, late classical and early. Division into chronological periods is uh, based on two uh, aspects, internal and external, intralinguistic and extralinguistic. We will go from present to the past, as if we went inside the time. As you can see, here is the first, uh, the uh, modern English period, it uh, starts from 18 and lasts till nowadays. The period of normalization of the Celtic neoclassical period, uh, many laws and rules were established in this period and that's why I advise you to remember the dates. Early New English period uh, starts on 1476. Uh, Middle English period also divides into divided into two periods and connected with Scandinavian invades of Britain, as you know, uh, William Kankore invades uh, in 1060. Uh, Old English period also is divided into two periods, pre-written, also is known as prehistorical and Old English written English pre-written period lasts from the 5th century till the end of 7th. It is stage of tribal dialects of uh, the West Germanic tribes. Do you remember the tribes? Angles, Saxons, Jutes and Frisians. Yes, you know. Tribal dialects were used uh, for oral communication on only. There was no written form of English in this period. The earliest monuments of Old English were made on the hard material uh, with the help of special alphabet, also known as runic. 24 runes uh, and 3 futark in runic alphabet. They could read a runic inscription. And can you? Uh, the word rune itself originally meant secret, mystery, and uh, they are believed to be magic. Here, such uh, uh, runes, uh, magic signs, can you read? Can you find some familiar? Now, I try to explain you this rune. Each rune at the same time can denote uh, some word, some sign and some sound. Uh, this rune parisas means thorn, thorn something sharp and that's why it is bad sign and sound it sounds put. Winner a very good and lucky sign. Uh, this rune means joy and sounds what it is also good rune uh, if you write this rune you uh, will be rich uh, because it means cattle uh, and sounds 
really strong runes, Sove Liu. Sove Liu and Hagalas. Sove Liu means luck, victory, and uh, sounds S. Try to remember. Hagalas sounds H and means defense all evil girls to your friends. Oh, sorry, to your enemies. Roswell Cross from uh, Scotland, one of two monuments of Old English. Uh, there, there are inscriptions in runic alphabet on the age of these uh, stones. Uh, while uh, when uh, these inscriptions were reconstructed, uh, they got uh, they got the part of the poem of Old English. Uh, the dream about the road, but road does not mean uh, the way. Road means uh, crucifix, crucifix, and uh, uh, this uh, information in this runic inscription uh, contains some elements of apocalypse, and uh, the cross was smashed down by the Presbyterian iconoclast. And after, in 1823, this cross was re-erected and now it is located in the Roswell Church, the monument of Old English. Another monument it is, uh, Frank's casket was found in France, but uh, it is Frank's, uh, the word Frank's in the a title of the casket, not uh, because of it was found in France. The reason is another. Uh, the reason is this person. Antiquary Augustus uh, Velastan Franks. He had this uh, casket and he presented uh, the casket to the British Museum. You can see uh, the casket in this museum in London. As you can see, casket is covered with a uh, runic inscription and uh, pictures. It is not very big, uh, uh, 19 centimeters wide, uh, 23 centimeters length, and 10 centimeters high. Can you find uh, familiar runes and can you read the words? Now we'll try to read what is uh, what is written on this casket because we know some runes. First rune means F. Uh, this rune means E, this, you remember, S, Savilu, and K, Fisk. In modern English it is fish. Also, you know, F, L, A, it, D, U. Flood. Flood means a lot of water. Flood also in modern English. And this long inscription means H, R, A. Hra, N, Hran, A again. Hrana, you know this? S, Hranas. Then B, here, A, N, Ban. Hranas, Ban. It means the bone or the bell. Here, uh, Vineyard, you know, V, U, L, E. You know this? Yes, it is for wolf. Wolf in modern English means wolf. You listen attentively, and that's why you can uh, manage to fulfill the task. Answer the following questions. Can you read and translate now inscriptions? Fill the gaps. And check yourself. Your homework, study lecture material, read the article in your textbook, learn the runic alphabet and translate any three words from the casket. Prepare retelling about this uh, lecture about Old English monuments. I hope you like the lecture and